Hello and welcome to RMK Technology. This session is about Enhancement to Device Management Module. Enhancements to the device management processes discussed in this session are involved with the creation of the project SAP AMI integration for utilities. In this device management area, the primary focus of the developments was to expand on the traditional mechanical meter capabilities and allow for the utilities to deploy the newest generation of smart meters, thereby allowing for additional automation and to take advantage of the computerized AMI smart meters and the associated infrastructure. A significant level of effort will be required by the utilities in the area of device management as typically all of the endpoint residential customer meters will be changed out during the AMI deployment project. This equates to 510K meters being replaced per day. These developments are delivered in ECC 6.0 NPH4 standard release and leverage functionality of CRM 7.0 and NetWeaver Pi 7.1. To understand the background of the project, one must consider the overall design of the AMI solution. It is represented in this diagram by two major sections, commercial and technical. The commercial portion contains the SAP ERP system and the underlying NetWeaver technology solution and provides for the ERP and ISU processes as well as the services to execute the AMI processes. The technical systems provide for the metering, communications and data storage needed for the collection of energy and non-energy data. Within the technical systems, the unique item in the SAP approach to AMI is the concept of MDUS, Meter Data Unification and Synchronization System. Together, the two major entities provide for a end-to-end -end AMI solution that maximizes the abilities of the overall components without excessive functional overlaps. Note that the interaction between the two systems is not intended to be completely bi-directional and synchronized across platforms. Before a smart meter can be used, it must be initialized to set up a bi-directional communication between the smart meter, the MDUS, and SAP for utilities. The process starts when a clock enters a goods receipt for the smart meter in SAP for utilities, which also creates the device's master data. At this point, SAP for utilities sends a request to the MDUS system to create a representation for the device in its system. The MDUS sends back a confirmation message. Later, when the smart meter is physically installed at the customer site, the MDUS system sends an notification back to SAP for utilities, telling that this meter has been registered within a specific AMI system and that it can now be used for further processes. Next, in SAP for Utilities, a clock technically installs the smart meter. This process, with which users of SAP for Utilities will be familiar, entails assigning a measurement task to a device. A utilities measurement task indicates why type of measurements should be taken using this device, for example, measuring consumption, energy, volume, or power periodically as indicated. It associates the physical meter with this measurement task, which can also be thought of as a logical representation of the meter's function. Technical installation also includes configuring the meter in SAP for utilities, specifying how many registers there are, for example, for measuring energy used during different time blocks, such as daytime and nighttime usage, for example. Performing this task in SAP for Utilities invokes a request to the MDUS. The MDUS then sends back a confirmation. The device has now been both physically and technically installed. The final step is to install it from a billing perspective. At this point, the customer has a contract with you and the point of delivery has been assigned to this customer. SAP for Utilities informs the MDUS that the point of delivery, the customer premises, has been associated with this particular meter. SAP for Utilities communicates this information by invoking a notification to the customer. This and few slides below is summary of enhancement to device management due to AMI activation. Enhancement of device category and device. Qualification as smart meter. 
AMI capabilities of the meter and of the Advanced Metering System, AMS. Relation to the MDUS and AMS. Enhancement of Business Warehouse Content of, Device Category, Device. Business Object Repository, Device, to enable business workflow for AMI related processes. Master Data Generator and Migration Workbench, Device, Installation, Removal, Replacement. Regional Structure and Grid Allocation, of an Advanced Metering System. Assigned to Division. Availability for Default, Search Help and Checks for example for installation process. Optional maintenance. Assignment on city or street level, regional structure. This slide shows how meter capability and advanced meter system capability are linked and passed on to device category and from there to device. When a device is created using that device category, this screenshot shows how device category looks like for smart meters. AMI data tab has three main value fields. Device category can contain advanced and non-advanced meters, non-advanced meters only, advanced meters only, determines the compatible advanced meter systems for this device category and provides the default advanced meter system when this device is created can be overridden, determines the compatible advanced meter capability groups for this device category and provides the default capability group when this device is created, can be overridden. This screenshot shows, new functionalities introduced, as part of SAP AMI activation. Populating the AMS field, will automatically trigger, the device creation service to MDUS. If both the AMS and AMCG assigned, to the device contain, remote reading capability, manual entry of meter reads is blocked. If one of those fields does not contain the remote reading capability, then manual entry of meter reads is possible. AMI meters currently are unable to capture and relay back the initial meter read upon installation slash activation. Initial installation read should be uploaded from handheld into MDUS, then to SAP. This is business process diagram for meter provisioning process starting from meter vendor till installation in the field and getting registered in the network. This is process cycle for advanced meter installation and registration process. Main processes involved in this scenario are define advanced meter capabilities, create advanced meter, install advanced meter, send point of delivery details, receive registered notification, change your advanced meter. Let us start with advanced metering capabilities. This slide shows configuration required for AMI. Please refer to AMI configuration for more details. This slide shows various new fields related with AMI activation. Advanced meter. Define if the device category has advanced meter capabilities. AMS group. Define the advanced metering system determination group. Defines the capability of the AMS. AMCG group. Define the advanced metering capability group determination group. Defines the capability of the device. This slide shows next step of create advanced meter. We need to have the meter defined for it to be operational. The AMI capability will be highlighted in green if it is operational. Create a device with AMI device category. The default values defined in the AMS determination group and AMCG determination group. Defining AMI capability for a smart meter. AMS provides the following capabilities. Remote disconnect. Remote reconnect. Remote meter read. On demand meter reading. AMCG provides the following capabilities. Remote meter read. On demand meter reading. Operational. Remote meter read. On demand meter reading.